I created this makeup look using a bold black lip. If you would like to see how I created this look, keep watching. So I have my brows already done and I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer and I'm just going to blend that in with my finger and then I'll go in with a brush. Going in with the Crayon Case Matte Book Palette, I'm going to use this uh, light transition shade just as something to add into my transition area. So next, I'm, go I'm still shopping my stash and using some of the items that I have already in my collection. And this is the Lucid Dream Eyeshadow Palette, and it is by Her Mannerisms. All of the shadows in this collection is a loose pigment. There's 15 of them. They look like this. There are 6 gram jars. This is one of the orange shades that I will be using, which is called tangy and this is just what the packaging looks like up close I do apologize for blinding you this is a purple and then we also have a yellow as well and then we also have a deep royal blue as well so I will be going back into the matte book palette and I will be using this lighter blue shade and I'm just going to add that to my crease. So now that we have that light blue shade, we're going to add a deeper blue shade, which is just right below that one. It's very, very deep. It's almost purple. And I'm just going to add that to the transition area. And I'm also going to bring it down in my outer V as well and there's a lot of blending that goes on I did cut some parts out of the video but between the light and the deeper blue shade I do go back and forth blending the two out very carefully so now that we have our blend game on point I'm going to go in with the orange shade which is called tangy and that's just what the pigment looks like in the cap I just shake the f a few sprinkles on the cap and that's just the brush and I'm applying it directly onto my lid I didn't cut my crease or anything so as you can see it's very pigmented and I did go back and add a little bit more of the blue so now I'm going to use the yellow shade from that palette and the yellow has a little bit of shimmer it's almost like it's a gold so it's very very pretty so it's not aesthetically pleasing right now but once the look comes together you'll see where I'm going with this look so I'm just adding the uh, liquid liner which is my wet and wild liner and I've also added lashes as well and they are by Couture Lashes in the style clutch So just adding some primer to my face. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And for foundation, I'm going to be using a Milani foundation. This is the Conceal and Perfect foundation, one of my favorite drugstore foundations. And I'm just going to blend that all over my face with a flat top Kabuki brush. And for concealer, I'm going to be using my Milani concealer and just going to add that to all the places that I like to highlight the under eye, the bridge of the, my nose and the center of my forehead as well.
to set, I will be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And to set the foundation, I'll be using the Medium Deep Setting Powder, also by Laura Mercier. I'm going to contour using the Crayon Case Contour Notebook and I'm going to be using this light shade here just to contour my nose. And to contour my cheeks I did go in with the darker shade which I use is um, Raven. So I'm just going to add that dark blue shade under my eye, well my bottom lash line. I'm also going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. This is uh, by Colourpop, their BFF mascara. I'm going to set with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And for highlighter, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in Sunset Aurora. girl we see you so I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye and this is another uh, loose shadow from that palette which is called illuminate it's a white it can be used as a highlighter but it, I think it'll be a little too ashy for me so I'm just gonna add that to my tear ducts just to add a little bit of brightness to my eye and for lip, I'm going to be using a crayon case lipstick, which is in the shade Blackboard. And I just wanted to take this look to another level. I just didn't want to go in with a nude shade, and I couldn't think of anything else that would look better, and I chose a great choice. That is it. That is the final look. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Make sure that you have subscribed to my channel. Also click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload videos and I will see you in my next one.